I truly think there is a man in this book for every single solitary person. It might be your confirmation saint. It might be your name day saint. It might be your great grandfather's name day saint. Or it just may be a guy who had something go wrong or something go right um, the, same, the same way you have had in your life. Um, but I, I definitely think they want to tell you their story. They want to connect with you and they want to help you. That's, that's the gorgeous, the beauty of our faith is, is that cloud of saints that exists for all of us. We all learn from the Blessed Mother male or female. We all learn from Jesus. And I think it's it's very much the same thing with the male saints. Um, their experiences are not limited to their gender. Um, one, one that particularly spoke to me, and I'm gonna cheat and look at notes because his name is difficult for me to pronounce. Um, Marcus G. Tiang Yang, who is one of the, the martyrs of China died in um, 1908 and Marcus was a doctor and he had an injury and he did what a lot of people in that era in China and otherwise other places did. He um, took opium for the pain and became an opium addict. He was a doctor, right? So he found himself continually going to confession about the fact that he was addicted to opium. And we didn't know as much, the people at that time didn't know as much about addiction and that it is, it's an illness. And eventually his confessor told him that unless he could give up opium, he just needed to stop coming to confession because he was sinning. And Marcus went for 30 years going to mass, and not taking the Eucharist because he was not in a state of grace. And um, then he was um, taken into custody as a, as a Christian and was executed. And he was the last person in his family to be executed because he didn't want anyone else to die alone. And I think to me, those of us who have struggled with an addiction or had somebody in our family who's had an addiction, the story of his faith and his trust in God and his not turning his back on religion and dying a martyr's death with such a strong belief, that transcends gender, that transcends nationality, that transcends time. And I think that's the beauty of these stories.